Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Number 6. The Devils Pass John Carroll in second round of NCAA Tournament Dickinson College Carlisle, Pennsylvania. The Dickinson Nenes lacrosse team took command of play in the second round of the NCAA Tournament at Biddlefield early Saturday afternoon, when the Red Whites built a 5-0 lead on the building, their way to a dominant 19-3 win. Over visiting John Carroll University Blue Streaks, the team switched chances early on, with Ethan Jess and Matt Thurston missing for DC, while Kevin Hack slipped past the cage at the 3, at 32, the Devils struck first when Owen Porter found a slicing Sam Campbell down the right, then, after both Chris Brandau and John Gaglio made stops for their respective teams, Ben Tomic released Tanner Gill Snow S. Stone, allowing Evan Carrezzos with the long pole, to spot the ground ball across the halfway line and fire a shot past Gaglio. The Devils then played, make it take it and shot two more when Skyler Schluter pocketed one after a feed from James Isaacson, before then finding Porter to finish and extended the lead to 4-0, with 6.48 left in the JCU timeout. Carrezzo's continued his strong start to the game by forcing a loss of possession, which resulted in Porter passing the ball to Isaacson for the goal. Three of the next six shots went to the Devils with Lee Dunn and Sasha Gannon, forcing Gaglio to make two more stops to keep the lead where it was. Dickinson would make the next three shots count, while Carrezzo scored his second of the day, before back-to-back -back face off wins saw Isaacson and John McKee extend the lead to 8-0, with 12.46 left at halftime. The next three tries went to the blue streaks, with Matt Berdisiak eventually beating Brandau at 5.09, to make it 8-1. However, DC responded immediately with Ben Truxus winning the ensuing tie, and watching his shot go wide, before Isaacson struck unaided. A loss of turnover caused by Sam Bunton, saw the Devils score in double digits, thanks to Bunton conceding the rebound from a porter shot. After a free kick by the Reds and Whites, Colin Morrissey beat the goalkeeper and reduced the